out here on Pacific Pines Ranch. Today we're just gonna jump right in and get started. We already did some prep work the last few days of getting all the supplies in place and getting all the steel in place to do what we're gonna do today, which is... <laughs> yeah, welding the floor, yay. More uh, time laying around the floor, woo. <laughs> a few years ago, we decided to quit the rat race and venture down a completely unfamiliar path in life. We sold almost all of our possessions, renovated a camper van, and toured the US looking for a piece of land to start our journey. After almost two years, we found our piece of paradise in the Pacific Northwest, and Pacific Pines Ranch was born. Follow along as we chase our dreams to build an off-grid shipping container home, and to see our projects and adventures along the way. As we like to say on the ranch, the joy is in the journey. So we have some flat bar that we're gonna clean this steel right here, lay the flat bar on top and tack it in place and then weld it. And then we are going to weld the two vertical parts right here, right here. And that'll be it for this side. And then after we will go start to work on that side. So for now, Viant, he's ready to go. Me, I'm slacking today. Need to go get my gear on and get to work. So here we go. We needed to remove all of the paint from this area before we could weld, so we used a resin sanding disc attachment with the angle grinder to clean the steel. The resin discs are 36 grit, so they are pretty aggressive and we actually use them pretty often on the ranch. All right, so we got everything cleaned up. We got the first couple pieces in place. We had a lot of leftover two inch flat bar. So this side, we decided to use our leftover pieces and use them where we can. And then the other larger side is one continuous piece of flat bar. So we have the first couple pieces here. Gonna tack them in place, weld them together, and then see which piece we're gonna use for this last section right here. Perfect. Viant helped me hold down the flat bar as I tacked it in place. This is really important because it prevents the flat bar from flexing and warping while I weld it. After all the pieces were tacked into place, I went back and completely welded each piece. There are two reasons why we are doing it this way. One, 
It seals the containers together and two, it helps add lateral strength to the structure. Since we will have three levels plus a rooftop deck, it's pretty important that we reinforce the containers as much as we can. I jumped around to different sections as I welded to avoid warping the flat bar. So here's the finished product. We still need to clean the slag off of the welds and paint, but all the pieces are welded into place. And as you can see, my mask almost completely bonded to my face. <laughs> It was a long day for me. Hello everybody! So the other day I had a super intense day of welding up in the second level. I welded I think 100 and 110 or 120 feet all in one day. So it was really intense. It was 12 hours just totally non-stop. So I didn't really have time to take out the cameras and film as much as I would have liked to, which is really not at all. So. <laughs> I'll take you upstairs and show you the work that we did. All right, so the other day was when I finished this section. So we have some flat bar welded here, welded here, and welded over here. So that's like 10, 20, 32 feet, I think, something like that. And here is the other side. So we got this piece, this piece, and over here, this piece. So we still haven't cleaned the slag off of the welds yet. Probably do that in the next few days. Up and at it, another beautiful day on the Oregon coast. All right, so today we are going to go up on the second level and we are going to clean all of the welding that we did, the flat bar, the vertical and horizontal flat bar. We need to remove the slag and whatever tiny bit of rust that's accumulated to be available to paint. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It's kind of hard to plan stuff because like right now it was supposed to be, what was it today, 95% chance of rain? Yeah. And it's sunny. So <laughs> makes it a little bit difficult to try to plan what we're doing because we need to do some outside work on the fifth container over there, but we can't because we need it to be dry. So we'll see. Anyways, here we go. All right, so we're up here on the second level. We're gonna get everything set up. Got all of our angle grinders. We're gonna do a combination between the resin disc, this guy, Probably, uh, this one's 36 grit, I think. And the wire wheel, which is over there. The wire wheel will be used to remove the slag on the welds, and the resin disc will be for the flat parts. Clean the rust and the, uh, the little bit of slag that's gotten over onto the middle, and yeah. So now it's raining. <laughs> The weather is quite bipolar in the spring and fall. <laughs> so anyways, thankfully we're inside, we're dry, everything's good. I'm really glad that we welded the roof shut. 
a few weeks ago. It's made us have some good progress in here. So anyways, we're going to get started, put all of our gear on, headphones, our uh, earplugs, respirators, everything, and uh, get to work. This is an obligatory safety butt check that I performed on my husband. <laughs> We worked together to clean the slag off of the steel section by section. It's pretty time consuming, but it's a step we have to do to prepare the steel for paint. And here is the finished result. Now everything is ready to receive the first coat of paint. For almost everything we paint, we use a two-part marine grade paint, which consists of a zinc epoxy primer and an acrylic top coat. Alrighty, so we finished painting the second level. Everything is good up there. And uh, the first layer of epoxy is on. We're just waiting for it to dry right now. We just went and kind of like cleaned up everything and put all of the tools away and whatnot. So everything is looking good. After that this layer dries, maybe tomorrow or the next day, we will put the final layer of the acrylic top coat and probably, depending on weather, install the sliding glass doors if it's raining. If it's not, we'll probably be working on this container. So the weather will dictate our plans the next few days, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks so much for watching. 
in the next episode, we will be working on installing the sliding glass doors on the second level, which are these ones right here. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow our social media pages to join us on our container build journey on Pacific Pines Ranch.